All right, so good people, we are getting ready to cook our tacos. We've got um, everything together season-wise on another video. And so I'm gonna pull the steak out. Look at this. Oh my goodness. See how they're nice and marinated, our ribeyes here. We're gonna grill those to about 135 degrees. And you can see our shrimp and cilantro with garlic. We're gonna cook that on the griddle um, in butter, and that's gonna give it a great flavor to it. We're also gonna go ahead, we're slicing some onions. We're leaving them kind of a little bit thicker. We want good chunks on there. And we have some peppers. Let's see if I got a jalapeno to go in there as well. Um, we ended up taking, if you uh, wanna check it out, we have a video on um, making some broth with the shrimp shells and using the skin from the onions and from the peppers and things um, that give it a great, great taste. Now, this is keto tacos, so unfortunately we can't do beans, but we can definitely use our sour cream. Um, we definitely wanna make some guacamole, lots of cheese and hot sauce on it. So we're gonna grill this stuff in butter as well. So I'll go ahead and get a stick of butter out for it. And let's see if we have some jalapenos. And we're gonna need some cilantro. These are going to be very, very Philly tacos. Now, going back on the tacos, here's what we're doing. We have Mission Zero Net Carb. These are great, actually, on sandwich wraps. Uh, for Michael, who is not on keto, we got him regular. What's the ones? Hmm? What? There's nothing different between keto and regular. It's just that you, know, you can have certain things. Well, that's the difference. Of that. That's where um, those shells, you can't really tell. The keto um, tortillas are really good. I, I like them. Um, like I said, I'll take and get some ham and some cheese. And we'll end up putting that stuff together, and it's great. So we've got our peppers. <clears throat> we're going to grill that first and get those caramelized. And then we're going to do the shrimp. We'll take just a matter of a few moments. The steak will take a little bit longer um, to do. So we're going to put those on first and stuff. So we'll have all this stuff together. And then we're just going to thin slice the steaks. Now, we've got some nice avocados. So we can do a little bit of a guacamole to put on these. Again, another great fat for um, for keto. And this is going to be good because you can eat quite a few of these tacos. And I need a bowl. Might as well use one that I can put away. So we'll take this bowl. And... You can put sour cream in your guacamole if you want to make it stretch a little further. Um, avocados are not cheap. Um, but I like to do this with garlic salt, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and of course chipotle chili powder in there. <clears throat> Give it a great taste. And also some cilantro. So we're getting all of our toppings here together. Just gonna break that up. I tried to design this kitchen so that way I have everything within reach. So I got some garlic salt. Got some pepper. I love cilantro, it gives it a great fresh taste to it. Cilantro, some Worcestershire sauce, and you need some acidity in there. This will help keep it from getting brown. There we go. And I salt this to taste. Some people like a lot of salt with guacamole. Some people don't like any at all. And I need to get my chipotle chili seasoning in there. A little bit of the skin. And 
this is a nice, fresh guacamole. It'll go on them. It'll be fantastic. Oh, it'll be so good. Okay, so we got that. Put this away. A nice medium salsa. We have a fiesta cheese and we also have some Spanish cheese too here that'll be great crumbled. And sour cream. Sour cream for our tacos. Okay, so now we're getting close. We want to have all these great fresh ingredients. You won't miss a thing. And we're just going to get a little bit of this cheese right here. Love it. Mm. Tastes kind of like a cross between mozzarella and feta cheese. We'll put some of that right in here. Boom, we'll put our toppings over here and we're gonna get ready to go outside and we're gonna grill. I'm just gonna get another little piece of this cheese because I just love cheese. Mm. So good. Well, hello, good people. Let's see. Let's go ahead and go over here like that. Okay. Well, hello, good people. So we're going to get our ribeyes. Let me just put over there. Get a little extra juice on there. Get our ribeyes here. These are a little thinner than what I usually get. So this won't take as long. So that's nice, nice and hot right now. And we're gonna get some butter. On here, and we're gonna start sauteing. Charcuterie board. It was, it was Michael's old one. I guess he doesn't want it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get those brown. I'm going to go through, get my thermometer. You guys watch that stuff. That look good already. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, gotta get my thermometer.
getting closer. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this down because I don't want these to get too well done. Can you um, can you ask Miss Tracy to get the, uh, the the Caesar salad together for me? Fresh ingredients. That's what's key on here. And butter. Ninety-four degrees.
take a look at that. That's our shrimp. Oh, and our peppers and stuff. And here's our steak. We're going to let those rest for just a minute before we slice those. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and clean the grill while we're letting that rest. All right. So we've got our steak here. And we're just going to take this ribeye and we're just going to slice it real nice and thin. Look at that. Now, you may not like it. Um, medium rare. This is like closer to medium. But this is the way... I like my steak because it's nice and flavorful and juicy. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Just as tender as it can be. You want to let it rest so that way that the uh, flavor doesn't just all run out. And we're just going to go ahead and warm up. I know people are going to kill me. I'm just going to warm up our uh, tortillas just for a few seconds in the microwave. And we're going to be ready. So we've got all of our great fixings to go here. we got cheese. We've got the Fiesta B8 blend. We've got the Spanish cheese. We've got the guacamole. We've got hot sauce. we got tomatoes. we got some limes. And... Where's my pre free sauce? I've got some hot sauce. And I thought I had. Where's my pre free sauce? Now I wonder. The cilantro lime. Let's see, how bad is it? Total carbs one gram of sugar, two carbs. So we can actually use the cilantro lime salsa creme. Mmm. Okay. So I'm going to do a couple of tacos for my wife right here to be our taste tester. Get a couple of shrimp in there. Taste tester. Baby. Tracy. Yeah. Taste tester. Look at that. Ooh. I'm not sure what you want on your tacos. But you want me to talk about for you? Sure. Boom. All right, taste tester. Thank you. Let's see what she says. Oh, I forgot your salad. A little bit of salad. That's a beautiful, thank you. Beautiful plate. That's good. Thanks. Okay. And we'll get her a fork. A big fork. Okay. <clears throat> Did I hear it? Mm -hmm. Which one did you try first? Steak. A steak? Oh. Look at that. Now this is um, a perfect keto meal. <coughs> Excuse me. Lots of fats in this. Um, very few carbs. Um, you got your protein with the meats and things. This is Oh, did you use this? Well, you can use some of that if you want to use some of the cream sauce. And of course, we have a little Caesar salad to go with it. I love the Spanish cheese. It's so good. It's kind of like it tastes like a cross between uh, feta and mozzarella. Try a little of the other sauce. Okay. And a little bit of half sauce.
There you go. All right, so that's my tacos. It's Sunday. It's not Taco Tuesday. I don't care. Tuesday will be on the road. But let me try my oversized. That's good. Mm. That is really good. Have a great keto day, people. Peace out.